So this video is all about the concept of independence. So independence is the idea that the outcome of one event happening or not happening does not affect the outcome of the next event happening. So in simple terms, it's to do with conditional probability. The probability of event A happening, given that B has already happened, is just the probability of event A happening, because it's not affected by B happening at all. But we know from what we've been doing this year that the probability of A and B, or sorry, the probability of A given B, is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So I can actually convert this formula by rearranging into the probability of A and B equals the probability of A times, got a bit sloppy there, the probability of B. So that's my rule, and if that is true, then I can claim the two events are independent. So for me, it doesn't matter which technique I've used, tree diagrams, Venn diagrams, or contingency tables, as long as I can work out the probability of event A happening, and work out the probability of event B happening, and therefore work out the probability of event A and B happening, and then I can compare them, I can do this. Okay, so let's just quickly look at this from a point of view of contingency table because it's the quickest one for me to draw on here. So imagine I asked my stats class about those that play music and those that don't play music, those that play sport and those that don't play sport. So imagine I had five that played music and sport, seven that just played sport, eight that just played music, and 10 who didn't really do much at all. So therefore there's a total of 12 who do sport and 18 that do not, and there's a total of 30. And over here I've got 13 that do music and I've got 17 that don't do music. So there's my total columns. Okay. So the probability of music is 13 out of 30. The probability of sport is 12 out of 30. So the probability of music multiplied by the probability of sport is going to be 13 out of 30 times 12 out of 30, which is 156 out of 900 or approximately I think that's 17 and a half percent 17 and two thirds percent or 0 0.176 recurring the probability of doing music and sport well that was five out of 30 and five out of 30 is a sixth so that's 16 point six recurring percent 16 and two-thirds percent now because the probability of music and sport is not equal to the probability of music times the probability of sport so this is not equal it's an equal sign with a line going through it i can say they are not independent now the crucial thing is you must show those calculations Otherwise, it's not going to be sufficient for you to get the marks at level three. Okay, so that's independence.